Museveni tagulanga ko mere mukatale myaka ana ne wombuza che batunde na kasero mukatale tachimanyi president Museveni tamanyi chayo mukalu ba mukola batia okola che baita chayi so here the first solution is to retire Museven and then find a manager welcome to another round of stories making headlines in Uganda right now this is the buzz UG and in case you haven't subscribed kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications <music> Now, a section of Ugandans are disappointed in the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, for looking on as Dr. Kiza Besige protests the continuous skyrocketing commodity prices in Uganda. Now, people like Dr. Stella Nyanzi are saying that this is the time Honorable Bobby Wine and other opposition leaders have to join Dr. Kiza Besige on the streets so that to end this crisis in the country right now. Now, Stella Nyanzi says, Shema upon you, Bobby Wine, Jeno Mugisha Muntu, Nobat Mao, Joseph Kableta, and any other leaders of the opposition who are just stopping at tweeting instead of joining Dr. Kiza Besije on the streets. Well, it should be remembered that recently, Bobby Wine said NUP party doesn't believe in defiance, but they respect Dr. Kiza Besije's efforts. Uh, so clearly, that means Bobby Wine and his team have no plans of joining Dr. Kiza Besige on the streets, but probably they will use other ways to protest what's happening in the country right now. Well, I'll be keeping you posted in regards to this story. Now, in other news, a section of members of parliament have reacted on President Museveni's speech over the weekend. Museveni implored Ugandans to minimize expenditure, if not cut off expenditures completely. <laughs> Now, this has left many Ugandans wondering how government could run short of solutions to the country's economic crisis. Now, a section of opposition members of parliament have reacted on President Museveni's speech, and this is what they said. The best way to tell Ugandans to kukekereza is to see also government kukekereza or kubiesonyua. But government has not kukekereza, government has not kukesonyua. Uh, the budget sum has increased. You're the one who is ever coming on with the supplementary budgets. If you're also not extravagant, just say that from today onwards I'm moving with only three cars. How can you say that you can offer nothing to Ugandans when they're in crisis? Mr. Museveni and his state house have the longest convoy of vehicles, fleet of vehicles in Africa. Let him direct that that money be diverted back to communities to support border borders, market vendors, among others. So seven has put for you 1,000 billion shilling, all of you. And for him, he has put himself uh, 700 billion. So here, the first solution is to retire M7 and then find a manager. Are you not a Ugandan? President M7, Tagulanga Komere Mukatari. Miyaka ana, neombuza chibatunde na kasero Mukatari Tashimanyi. President Museveni tamanyi chai omukalu ba mukola batia okola che baita chai chicho tabula tamanyi ntine moto kabajiteka mama futo vaga tekawo so bawanga ride mbugaga nti baina comfort je baludemu so they are out of touch with the reality enara e nga mutebaina che baiza kugamba ku byamfuna ebyemfuna tebabina ko bagezi na kamu mukwagalo ku rutinga wano nga bakatuka Bako la chwaita routing. Nibanya guru le guanga lino. Bebe sula mbigambo visatu. Nandi nyumi duwa president. President kwa gamba li patriotic. Kalu miru e siye. Ya andi vide yunga gamba. Mafuta gane beye yonge de. Tuge nda gena mchwaita strategic reserves za fe. Oil reserves. Oba fuel reserves. Tujeo lita million wezti. Tuzipampi nge mkatale. Tustabilize nge omuendo. Katiba nwa ina yone lita ya mafuta jiba atereka. Zero. <laughs> ba ina teleke lori emere. Ebi aji bi guanga. Singa government ya Uganda tu gomuru taro ne Kenya. God forbid. Ne tu ruanda gana ne Kenya. Tu surviving re na kumeka ngate tu na wanika. Oba singa oba ruko obi yekira mu istani Uganda. Ne busara kumkuto. E guanga ita ina iwa ita ya mafuta jeri aterek. E guanga ita ina iwa de kilo ya kawunga wa de kilo ingano jeri teresi. E guanga ita ina yo wa de you see. 
And also, Dr. Kiza Besige said government should cut down on her expenses before telling the population to do the same. State house, the house where he lives, for him, his family and his visitors, more than two billion per day. But he's telling poor Ugandans who can't afford anything to tighten their bills. Tighten what? Well, in other news, Democratic Party, led by Nobat Mao, has threatened to organize countrywide protests if government doesn't react quickly on the economic crisis in the country. A Democratic Party says government should cut down taxes on fuel so that the prices of other commodities reduces. I'm sure all of you to get here paid higher than you were paying at the beginning of the year. All those who have cars are paying a higher amount than they were paying previously. How will the price of fuel reduce? Now, when you buy fuel of 300,000, over 100,000 shillings is a tax. But our call to the government is cut taxes on fuel. It will reduce the price of food, it will reduce the, by reducing the cost of transport, it will lead to a boom in construction because right now transporting building materials so the answer lies in the cost of fuel we are a party that is well known for organizing the best protests if the government does not take quick action it will become necessary necessary to rally citizens for a nationwide protest it is not about kampala Kampala is just one pressure point, just like you have many pressure points on your neck, on your leg, on your wrist. Well, there you go. That's the latest news updates I have for you right here on The Buzz UG. And uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you that you got the buzz, you got everything, anything that is happening in the entertainment industry and also in the current affairs. Trust me, you'll be getting it right here on The Buzz UG. But you can also share that link to your friends so that they also get updated about what is happening in the country. Thank you.